Hey everyone, it's Brimstone on the left. And Un on the right. And we are here with some more uh, Legacy of East. And some new stuff. Hmm. Young lady, huh? That don't think there's very many uh, young ladies I could think of. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah. By the way, this music is from the PSP version. Uh, there's so much stuff on the DS and PSP that, uh, like, makes me really want them. And that just pisses me off because I hate playing games on portable systems. Mm, true. And, oh, you just say the same thing. Man, there's a lot of elders here. Anyway. Uh, the real reason why I came back here is there's an optional cutscene with, uh, Fina. And we have to tell Jeva the sad news. She seems to take it pretty well, though. Yeah, well... I guess Sarah, having already been more or less at peace with it, uh, helps somewhat. Yeah. Yes, if you feel like mourning her, then do, you know, what set out to accomplish, and... Also, we can actually show the Books of East to her. I swear, that whole exchange, though, reminds me so much of Hulk Don't Know Can, that whole fate thing, you know? It's like, people fade to die just to give you information, or, you know. <laughs> anyway. Yes. The ancient language of uh, Moonspeak, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and this was at the temple, and this is the Book of Ease Hadal. Oh, we get a crawl. Yep. Long ago, a metal called Claria was forged in East. The Temple of Solomon uh, stood as a glorious symbol of wealth and material brought. However, in the shadows, prosperity grew evil. Evil came disaster. Mr. X ravaged... Oh, wait. I mean, the monsters ravaged the land. Of, yeah. Ravaged Celsia. the land never before. Yep. Total destruction from mountain to shore. <laughs> uh... In, you know, in darkness may, you know, dreaming may lie. And this used to belong to Tobas. See here. East was governed by two goddesses and six priests. Sounds like a bad bar joke. Um, <laughs> now here's interesting. Uh, one represents order and the other represents freedom. Apparently the goddesses have their own, you know how you have Zeus the god of thunder and whatnot. They actually have their own colleges now. <laughs> you know, you have goddess of freedom and the goddess of order. I'm not sure which one's supposed to be which, though. If I had to hazard a guess, I would, uh, say Lair is probably order. And order, freedom. yeah. Which is kind of odd given, you know, Fina being captured, you know, locked in jail. But, eh. but this scene, scene coming up really kind of kind of screams out that she would be... Well, this is kind of spoilers, but I'm assuming everyone's played this game that's watching this. <laughs> or at least some version of it. Yep. If not, eh, not too much of a spoiler, you know, to be honest. I mean, it's... They were shown in the frickin' opening. And there is that. And... This is a whole section actually I didn't talk to earlier, which is kind of funny. This... Name's Fina. Yes, even her name was cute. Yes, friends, I bet would be in quotation marks on that one. <laughs> Oh, it's one of the fantasy star planets in human form. No, oh, point taken. Yeah, you're right. And the one that got blown up, no less. 
Oh, oops. Anyway. So, let's go to this pier and, uh, well, actually, there's a lot of open space in this game that I just didn't really understand. Like, why was that whole section there? Anyway, here's Fina. It's what we do. Yeah. So yes, we do get a whole exposition with her. They really, they really flesh her out in the eternal, uh, the later versions of this game. Yeah, she didn't really get as much uh, characterization in uh, in the earlier versions. Now that you mention it, yeah. Now, interesting to note that if we were playing the Eternal version, what we'd be hearing right now is the Rota theme, which is kind of weird that would play. So I, what I did is I just added a uh, re basically orchestral version of the Temple theme. And now it turns into a Charlie Brown Christmas. <laughs> Which I find kind of appropriate given, you know, it's snowing everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even though uh, you know, I'm not completely buried anymore, there's still a light snowfall going on even now. Oh, wow. Well. I kind of miss snow being where I am, but I don't miss being snowed out. Or shoveling, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. God. Or ice. Yeah, getting to work, I've become very intimately acquainted with uh, ice issues these last few days. Hmm. Well. Now that we've done all of that, we're going to go to the abandoned not, uh, mine now with this pleasant music. Just sort of romp through the forest. <laughs> of course, finding the abandoned mine is, you know, another thing entirely. And that signpost was completely useless to me. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> uh, so so many fond memories of East. I gotta make even with the abandoned mine and stuff. In the turbo version, it had my favorite track in the game. Hmm. And this is actually, I'm sorry. I was just going to say that's not one of the ones that's uh, often cited as a favorite. I. I I'll get to reason why I like it, but uh, actually, here's the mine, and we're going to end it here. So, next time, mine. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, Brimstone. And, uh. Signing off. Take it easy, campers. <laughs>